today with Jurassic World Dominion, the release and rampage pack, including the Atrasa Raptor known as Ghost. We get this cool little holding cage and cell here that will hold this dinosaur, and then we get this awesome female character. Um, I'm not even sure what her name is. Let's see if it says here on the back, Sonia Santos. I don't know who Sonia Santos is, but she's going to be in the movie, I'm guessing. I wouldn't think they would give her an action figure if she wasn't going to be in the film. So that will be interesting to see what kind of part she plays. And of course, the dinosaur, the Atrociraptor ghost, can attack and knock the door off this awesome holding cage. This is something close to what we've seen in the original Jurassic Park film, the actual raptor cage in which uh, Muldoon and the construction workers and the one who got mauled was actually releasing the Velociraptor into the holding, the well not the holding pin, but the raptor cage or paddock, there it is, the raptor paddock as I would say. So this is like really cool and like really like flashback nostalgia to the early 90s Kenner sets. It's so good to see Mattel finally offering us this cool little like storage thing that we can put our dinosaurs in really happy. Uh, they're doing a lot of this kind of thing with the Jurassic World Dominion release. We're getting back to a lot of the original Jurassic Park Kenner type feel with all these cool, super awesome sets and dinos and just some really cool stuff coming out right now. It's a great time to be alive. Can't wait for this movie to release in June. Cannot wait to go see it. With that being said, let's get right into this video and open this thing up and see what this thing looks like outside of this box. Bear with me, the lighting here is not fantastic, but it will do. Let's get into it. Let's get into this Jurassic Madness. Thank you, cool looking. Uh, Sonia Santos looks like a pretty cool figure. She kind of reminds me of like some kind of Jedi or something. I'm really looking forward to seeing who these new characters in the film are and what roles they're going to play. They're dressed in like some, I don't know, postmodern world where dinosaurs have taken over and run loose. You don't say. Would that be the new plot to Dominion? Probably. Anyway, so this is pretty cool. Really digging the Atrociraptor. Ghost is looking pretty sick with the open and closed mouth. And I don't even know if Atrociraptors, I'm assuming that was a breed of raptor that actually existed. I have done no research whatsoever. So I really can't answer that question, but I assume these were real species of raptors. So this guy's really super duper cool. And I will get back to the scan code, which is located right here in the back between the hips of the Atrosa Raptor Ghost. And then I will uh, allow that to, you know, kind of stay on screen for a minute so you guys can scan it into your apps. And then you will too have Atrosa Raptor Ghost, which is pretty cool. So then we get this thing, which is like one of the cooler things that we've seen. It's got some pretty good detailing. The door was super kind of tricky to get on there, and I noticed it felt a little flimsy to me, but it is still super cool, and I really do like it, and I look forward to putting my Atrosa Raptor Ghost inside there. Do you mind? I'm filming over here. Anyway, I look forward to seeing what it's gonna be like putting this guy inside this here container unit whatever you want to call it containment for the atrosa raptor ghost so with that being said guys stay tuned for the next video and all the jurassic madness still to come <laughs> 